What's going on guys? Fun with Knives back again and long time no see. It's been a while since you guys actually saw my face and I'm going to say this probably in the beginning of every vlog video but I apologize if you guys like these and you want more of them. Um, these are kind of hard to do. I, I want to do these every day. I just don't have the time but fortunately today I do. I kind of have a project and I'm hoping you guys will want to hang out with me while I do some of it. And really what I'm doing is consolidating some bags, some backpacks and stuff. One of those includes my bug out bag. Now the whole premise behind why I'm doing this is to consolidate my gear and put it where it's going to get the most use and what makes the most sense. Now I will warn you this is probably going to be pretty funny because most of the things in my bug out bag are like five years old. I mean I made the majority of it when I was like 16 or 17 and I really made it because the I like the theory of a bug out, bug out bag that you were prepared at all times and uh, I like The Walking Dead so uh, it was really a zombie survival kit or something and uh, a lot of those items in there will reflect that but there is some good stuff in there and I've recently got a hold of some cool flashlights some first aid kits and maybe even a new knife or two that I would like to put into their own respective kits now I have this weird system at the moment where I have a school backpack because I do go to college I have a car uh, kit that's basically like a get home kit like it's got it's kind of like a mini survival kit meaning if I you know were to roll over in the snow in my car or something I have ways to make fire to treat some minor injuries and stuff before help arrives hopefully they do um, I get changes of clothes and everything in there and then I have an EDC bag uh, which will contain hygiene stuff first aid stuff uh, electronic stuff like phone chargers and things like that it's got to be able to fit my lunch because I work in an office so I take a lunch and things like that so it's kind of a basic bag and really that's what I'm having the most trouble with and I have a couple of decent backpacks and aren't getting the use that they need to uh, plus I want to have a nice bug out bag ready to go in case I do need to grab it and go somewhere um, but really that's it's, it's gonna be stripped down today and I'm gonna kind of start anew with it so and then I have the adventure bag of course the adventure bag is the bag I take on every outdoor venture that I have. I mean, kayaking, shooting, hiking, camping, you name it. If it's outdoors, it's gonna be that bag. And it has been for years on end. And that one kind of remains empty. I mean, there's some basic stuff that remains in there, but it's really filled for the occasion. So let's get a look at those bags and let's really take down that bug out bag because it's probably gonna be awesome. Okay, welcome to the top side of my bed. Now we're looking at a couple of backpacks here. Um, this backpack is made by Red Rock. It's not actually a backpack. It's a nav bag and it originally came with one shoulder strap and has these two like backpack straps that you can put into it. And I bought this for the sole purpose that I liked this Red Rock outdoor gear bag. And this was the same color but a different purpose. And really I bought this to fit my laptop but I got a big ass laptop that barely fits in here. So this is kind of transformed into my EDC bag rather than my school bag. And this, Red Rock, this is the engagement pack. Came with a big um, additional cargo space here that I took off and it came with a, like those the waist band as well. I took that off, so it's kind of just like an OD green backpack now that's pretty cool. This is my school bag. It fits my laptop, fits my textbooks and everything. So I really take my laptop charger <laughs> and all my school materials and that. So that's probably gonna remain how it is. Um, this is what we're really focusing on getting correct. Now, this, unfortunately, is what I've actually been using as my EDC bag. Although I want to use this because it's got tons of pockets, it's got tons of space and everything. It can expand and there's Velcro and clasps and stuff. It's cool. This little duffel bag has all my crap in it. I mean, like hygiene stuff and everything. It's all in one big pocket and I want to do away with that. I want to use this strictly for like workout gear and if I'm going to go play basketball and all, all things like that. So I had a good idea. Now I was going to take a look at my bug out bag and see if I could repurpose some things and put them to where I was actually going to use them because this bug out bag is not really doing its job because it's not really ready. So as you can see here I have some random molly clips on here, some funny patches and let's just dive right in and see what's in this thing because as I said in my little intro there, the vast majority of the stuff was bought from like when I was like 16 or 17 and I had a very vague understanding of preparedness or water food needs at all and really i just bought what the first article told me on google so that's holy crap this isn't anyway i did pick a nice bag i feel like i've had quite a few sog products in the past open knives and for the vast majority of the time they haven't been very good knives 
Like this backpack seems pretty quality. I've actually carried it around and tested it, made sure that would support some weight. So really just sit you guys down. This is so hard to do with one hand. Actually, yeah, let's sit you down for just a moment. Um, hopefully you guys won't fall over there on my bed. But this bag actually seems really high quality. Especially for SOG producing it. Maybe they just have really nice backpacks and I had no idea. Could definitely be the case. Now, I, I, didn't, I didn't think I was going to make this a fun without knives vlog video. Um, but I don't know. I don't really have a playlist for this kind of thing. So really, you guys are just kind of hanging out with me looking at crap I own. Um, and trying to get better at being prepared. So, I have a whole lot of these. Whoa! I'm sorry. <laughs> over. Uh, Mount House freeze-dried food. I'm sure a lot of this stuff actually is nearing its uh, shelf life. Because I think those have like a shelf life of five years or so. So, I might actually have to take these out and eat them soon. But, got a whole lot of those. Uh, this was actually something I thought was pretty smart. This is an emergency survival bag. Reflects body heat. Wind and water resistant. Um, basically some high strength foil there to keep you warm so you don't die it's really cold and windy and wet uh, but it's actually pretty thick stuff that i think will be helpful uh this was my attempt at some sort of cooking kit this has got a pot in it i had some extra emergency drinking water that i'd probably use for cooking there if i needed it and some what are these camp heat just some fuel cans yeah just some fuel cans to actually heat the food up when it's in here more Mountain House food bags. Water, purifier tablets. I mean, that's, I mean, some of this stuff is pretty decent. I just, I didn't have a clear understanding of what the hell I wanted to do when I was entering into this venture. This, this is a Soul, what is this called? Sport utility blanket. Uh, th this is probably the, one of the smartest things I had in there. Uh, reflects 95% of body heat, wind proof and waterproof, ultra light and compact. You can use this for shelter, for body heat for just as a tart for carrying stuff uh, very versatile let's see in here try not to knock you guys over and make it incredibly shaded at the same time um more emergency water my super cool uh apocalyptic gi tancho from cold steel that i customized one of the only customized knife jobs i've actually done that actually worked out so that's nice um, inside of this little cinch bag, this thing is huge, this bag is awesome, is a pretty serious first aid kit. And it looks like I just bought this, but I added a whole lot to it. So this is all the contents of it normally, and I added a lot to it and took out some of the redundancies that I didn't think I would need quite as much. Oh, sorry, I'll pick you guys up for a second. Um, what is in here? You guys actually get to see how weird I am away from the review table. Um, CR 123 batteries, and yeah, that's all that's in there. That's the problem with those. I bought those specifically for my bug out bag light. I have a couple of flashlights in this bag where I did, and it was a ProTac, like 2L or something, and it was on the backpack strap. And I think I took it somewhere, like hiking or camping or something, and I can't find it. I don't know if it's in a vehicle or what, but hopefully it's still in here and it just got moved. Um, look at my little outer pocket here. I have a Sawyer water pouch to hold the filtered water that this filters so we're in a water straw or something uh this is a timex oh this is a casio pretty cheap watch let's see is that right oh crap that's only four minutes off and this has been in here for like years holy crap that's awesome that's got like a 10 year battery life it's a cheap one but it's something that'll work if i need it to uh bug spray sunscreen what else do i have in here Ooh, this is cool. Oh, you guys are judging me so hard for this. Probably for this whole video, and I don't blame you. Bear Grylls Survival Handbook. This is something cool I ordered. The cheapest thing Tops makes, pretty much. And this is the Tops. Whoa, focus for me. Come on now. Tops Knives Survival Saw. This thing is like barely serrated. <laughs> but I guess, like, if you had to make a couple of tent stakes or something, this would do it if you just did not have any other tools. Wow. Just scraping the crap out of that little handle there. Um, wet fire tinder thing, big lighter that still works. Nice. Another wet fire thing. This is homemade chapstick. Could be used for a whole lot of things. Anything chapstick could be used for. Okay, let's go on these side pockets. Here. Got a night eyes carabiner here with a little lock. I don't know what this is weight rated for. Probably like ten pounds. Oh, 75 pounds. Holy crap. 
this is actually a decent carabiner. So 75 pound carabiner there. I have two canteens to hold water. And I know you guys are gonna tell me like, oh, you need this in your bug out bag, why don't you have this? Trust, I, I would love to have a kick-ass bug out bag, but I have not even thought about adding stuff to this since I've like been into knives, other than that cold steel. I haven't thought about, oh, I should put a firearm in here. Or I actually put a tent or rethink my whole strategy of what I'd need a bug out bag for. All this gear has just kind of maintained in this nice backpack for a long time. And I'd like to repurpose some of that gear and actually use it and simplify my bug out bag some. What's this cool paracord? That's like desert camo. That's awesome. Um, what the heck is that? Oh, that's a map of the area and stuff. Um, a notebook and a Sharpie for coordinates, I guess, if I needed them. Uh, poncho. I mean, we're getting down to the nitty gritty already. There's not a whole lot left. Oh, is that my flashlight? Come on. Be that flashlight I've been looking for. Oh, no, this is really cool, though. This is from Bushnell. Bushnell, you say that? This is a solar charger. So you drape this over your backpack or anywhere outside, and it charges up this little power source. It's kind of a, an external battery, and you plug things into it, and you can charge stuff. So if I had a radio and was smart, I could charge my radio or perhaps a phone or you name it, anything that's kind of USB compatible, this can charge it. And I think that's super freaking cool. I got that for Christmas like a long time ago. Very cool. Um, let's go front pack here. I do have some kick-ass patches on there. Zombie killer, squash hunter, pirate. Matches a little pirate logo on the side. Sog's logo is cool, but they're a little tactical for me most days. Um, these look like, like surplus wool gloves or something. Um, sunglasses, waterproof matches. That's what that's gotta be, right? Yeah, waterproof matches. Here is the stand for that stove we looked at earlier. This, some plastic heating utensils, another mylar blanket or whatever, and a microfiber towel. Um, Dawn dish soap with very tactical saran wrap to not leak out. Basically it says to clean myself off because I doubt they'll be running water if I bugged out somewhere. Oh, cool. Uh, gorilla tape, good for everything. Um, this is like Christmas because I forgot I had all this. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Mariglow safety light sticks. I want the chem lights, a signal mirror. What's this? It's a little mag light. Not bad. I wish this would focus better for you guys. I know the lighting in here is probably not awesome, but hopefully you're getting a kick out of this video if you're still watching. Hey, that still works. I think that's... I don't know what battery that's taken, but I doubt I have extras for it. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got a little knife sharpener in here. I don't even know what this one is, to be honest with you. Oh, it's a DMT coarse stone. That's all this is. Just a diamond stone. Live fire. If you guys don't know how these things work, they're pretty freaking awesome. If you're into the bushcraft scene at all. Um, what is that? Glow in the dark compass, ferro rod, and striker. And I don't know if that's it because I can't really see a whole lot more. And yeah, that's it. I, <laughs> I had one flashlight in there. Oh, maybe there's something back in this back pocket here. Oh, this thing has like a crap load of oh, cool kick ass big zip ties for those major jobs, I guess. And yeah, that's about it. So yeah, I mean, what am I not missing, right? Water bladder, I mean, walkie-talkies, all sorts of stuff, I know. Um, but eventually it'll be all repurposed and I'll have a cool bug out bag, but maybe I'll even use this bag for something else. But now I have this in front of me, I can kind of consolidate other first aid kits where I want to put some kit knives, um, sources of light, maybe fire making kits and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching guys. As always, hope you got a kick out of that and what's inside of a 16 year old's bug out bag. <laughs> thanks for watching guys. Remember, have fun with your knives.